this was meant to be fun. It's meant to allow uh, maybe newer engineers to ask that one question that they've always had on their mind or they've never gotten a great answer to. And so we really encourage that, you know, post your stuff in the comments, send me a question, uh, you know, whatever you need. Hi everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to this week's On Track podcast. I have some exciting news for you. Um, All Team Live is heating up and the keynotes are going to be announced soon, but I need to take a break. And usually this time of year, we give the podcast, it just goes dark. But today I have with me a familiar face to you, which is Zach Peterson of Northwest Engineering Solutions. And he's going to take over and guest podcast. So uh, we're going to talk about that today and what you can expect. So lean in, enjoy. I'll see you on the other side. Welcome to All Team's On Track Podcast, where we talk to leaders about PCB design, tackling subjects ranging from schematic capture all the way to the manufacturing floor. I'm your host, Judy Warner. Please listen in every week and subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher, and all your favorite podcast apps. And be sure to check out the show notes at altium.com forward slash podcast, where you can find great resources and multiple ways to connect with us on social media. Well, hey, Zach. Hello, Judy. Thanks for asking me to do this. Uh, It's some big shoes to fill, but uh, I'll do my best. (laughs) <laughs> well, um, I think everybody's loving the content that you're putting out on behalf of all team these days. And so I figured you were the perfect person to do it. Plus you are a design engineer and this is, you know, what you do every day. So, um, Zach, you've been writing for us for how long now? Years. Yeah. Years. Like what? <laughs> three, four? Four years? I don't know. No, it was before that, actually. So anyways, people are really loving your your blogs, and those can even be accessed through through our All Team Designer tool as well as at allteam.com forward slash resources. And now you're doing YouTube content. So why don't you tell us a little bit about um, how you came to be a technical consultant for All Team and all the good content you're helping produce for all team. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, originally coming through kind of the back door with marketing and strategy. Um, and I, I think some of the internal folks uh, loved what was going on so much that they decided to kind of, I think, put me a little more front and center uh, in terms of the content, um, along with some of the other great contributors uh, to that have come across the blog over the years. Um, I think it's great that Altium has such a great focus on the community and getting voices from the community to be part of the conversation about design and engineering and you know everything that happens around that manufacturing test and measurement um some of the great uh or some of my favorite uh, authors i've actually been introduced to through the altium blog um so it's it's really rewarding to be part of this and then you know on the youtube side um that was something where uh I think, again, it was fitting in with all team's mission of being a leader, not just within the electronics industry, but also within the design community and helping to lead the conversation instead of reacting to it. A lot of companies, Mm -hmm. they they react and it's kind of unfortunate. And then they try and stick like the corporate messaging down everybody's throats through YouTube. You know, this was meant to be fun. It's meant to allow uh, maybe newer engineers to ask that one question that they've always had on their mind or they've never gotten a great answer to. And so we really encourage that, you know, post your stuff in the comments, send me a question, uh, you know, whatever you need, uh, and we'll try and get to it. And the response has been way more than I had ever thought it would be. I mean, I'm getting, you know, questions on my LinkedIn uh, and, uh, you know, of course, people saying, you know, thanks for, for doing this. It's been so great to, you know, get someone to explain some of these, you know, more uh, esoteric electronics concepts in a way that is really accessible. And uh, I, I think my, my background teaching, you know, really helped with that. So yeah, it's, it's I think so too. It's been just fun to be part of it and to see you kind of move front and center because we've truly, Zach, we've wanted this as a company, someone that was younger, that could describe this thing that, you know, could get on camera. And we really wanted to create this, but to find somebody with that unique mix of skills and and you still own a a, a design engineering firm uh engineering firm and 
you're just a little bit crazy, quite frankly, but we love that how passionate you are. And I've been watching the YouTube comments just blow up and I'm like, yes, we finally, we got across the finish line of something we've wanted to do for a long time. So, you know, hats off to you. So, you know, I feel like I'm entrusting my uh, firstborn child to you a little bit here, but I know you will, <laughs> you'll probably make me look silly. So um, I am delighted to have you join in here um, and and fill in on my behalf. And thank you so much for being willing to do that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm honored that I was even considered. <laughs> well, um, we are talking behind the scenes about a pretty neat lineup for you. Uh, but one thing I wanted to mention to our audience is that I am stepping out because I am heavily, heavily involved uh, in Altium Live, and it's just, it's coming down. It's the end of January, January 26th through 28th. If you haven't uh, had a chance to check out the website or sign up yet, you can go to altium.com forward slash summit. And uh, yeah, I just can only wear so many hats. So um, Zach is the perfect guy to step in. So Zach, I think I've got pretty much got you talk and to come in to present a session or two at Altium Live, right? You certainly did, yeah. Okay, good. See, I, I, I tricked you. I asked you in person, so I'd, I'd have it, you know, in the Kinda public sphere. Kind of ambushed me with it, and that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for our listeners, Zach will definitely be there and presenting, and you can interact with him and, you know, have a cup of coffee or a beer or lunch or something and, and be able to interact. So we're really looking forward to that. Um, I also will be working with our team internally to announce our keynotes next week, which I'm very excited about. They are locked and loaded. And um, spoiler alert, one of our keynotes, no surprise, is going to be Dr. Eric Bogatin. And so it's been a delight to kind of behind the scenes sort of be involved in the matchmaking of Eric and, and Zach. And they both have a PhD in physics and uh, are, you know, both from the academic world. So I hope we can get Eric Bogatin to come on and meet with Zach. Um, they've had some interactions and, and um, I think you'll enjoy maybe the conversation. So I'm going to tease that one, but I'm not going to tell you about the other ones. Um, what else do you think you'll be covering over the next six weeks, Zach? Yeah, so uh, we, we always have questions to catch up on because so many of them come in. And uh, I'll just be honest, some are quicker and easier to, to answer than others, whether it's in blog format or whether it's in video format or sometimes both. So we're going to be hitting viewer questions. We actually do have a Q&A session coming up. Uh, the Q&A session, it's literally just going to be an entire 15-minute video of answering viewer questions um, in as a concise format as we can. Um, sometimes rapid-firing off questions leaves out a bit of context, So, but we're going to pick the best ones. And so anybody that has any kind of question that they want to get answered on this particular uh, video, um, send your questions over to YouTube at altium.com. Not altium at youtube.com, youtube at altium.com. And we'll, we'll see if we can get into the list. Um, we're going to hit more on uh, how to work with your manufacturer. Um, one of the things that was actually requested was, uh, was uh, RF design, um, which is very adjacent to my background in, in lasers and optics. Um, you're always dealing with, with fields and resonances in that area. And so RF design is, is very close to that. Um, so we're going to do uh, a few things on RF design. Um, let's see what else. Uh, By the way, a oh, little yes. caveat here. Did you hear that DuPont bought Rogers I did this hear week? that, yeah. Pretty crazy, huh? Boom. Mind blown. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. I know. That's what I thought, too. And I had just a couple of weeks ago did a podcast with John Coonrod from Rogers, and so I'm eager to... But I, you know, any... Um, the very little interaction I've had with DuPont... They seem like a well-run organization, so I hope it'll be good for our friends at Rogers. Anyways, you know, I just when you were talking about RF, I was like, ah. <laughs> I thought 3M would have would have bought them if anyone would have bought them. 
Well, DuPont has, um, what's that? <sighs> Megatron. Is, is it oh. DuPont? No, that's Panasonic. That's, that's Panasonic. Panasonic. Yeah. But no, I mean, DuPont has a really robust um, offering for PCB laminates to uh, much in the flex space, right? So I know it's, it's interesting, but boy, I sure didn't see that one coming. Anyways, you mentioned RF and I was like, wow, that blew me away. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so our RF will be fun. Um, I think it's it's a totally different way of thinking for some people. And I, I'd mentioned on a previous podcast with you that, um, as especially some of the older digital engineers, they they only did the RF mm -hmm. stuff so that they could pass their qualifying exams, and it kind of just went out the other ear. Um, so yeah, it's good to good to catch up on the RF stuff. Yeah, and then IoT happened, and wireless happened, and all that happened, and then we're all in it neck deep now. That's so, true, yeah. yeah. You know, it seems Fun like layout challenges, away. definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, um, anyways, anything else you want to tee up before I sign off and cry a little tear and say I'm going to miss you podcast and <laughs> hand, the, hand the car keys over to to the great Zach Peterson here? Wow. Um, well, I mean, aside from uh, the one keynote that you mentioned um, on the, uh, the, the YouTube series, um, we also do want to get other experts uh, in the field from uh, that have got so much great experience and, and help aid some of that knowledge transfer to the next generation of designers. Um, I think that, especially if you're new in the space, um, you might not know who these people are, what kind of experience they have, what they have to offer. And so we definitely want to get them involved and, you know, do kind of an interview style. It'll be fun conversations that, um, you know, really relate to some contemporary design issues and even just challenging some of the conventional wisdom about design. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. That sounds awesome. Well, uh, to our listeners, I'll make sure and I'll link through to the right links and you'll help me because I know that little twist on YouTube where you can submit questions is interesting, but also I will link to through to the Altium, uh, um, Altium Academy YouTube channel where Zach's videos are, but you can look forward to seeing him in the following weeks. I'll sure miss y'all, but, um, again, I'll be busy with Altium live and we'll have lots of news. And when I get back, we'll start interviewing the keynotes and we'll have a lot of exciting news. So, Thanks so much. Enjoy the next few weeks, Zach. Thanks again for joining, and uh, I'm trusting you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you very much for asking me. This is this is going to be great. Yeah, my pleasure. I know you'll do a great job. So um, to our listeners, make sure you check out the show notes. I'll put some good links in there for uh, Zach's content and also Ultium Live, so you can go sign up there. And I'll see you in probably about six weeks. And um, until then, remember to stay healthy, stay safe, and always remember to stay on track. Music